Hello there and welcome to the final Bad Batch mock video. This could be the last video in forever. Star Wars come out with so much material. I wanted to make this a great one. So last week I asked you what you wanted to see and you did not disappoint. I got loads of comments and today I'll be making five of your ideas in two sets. In fact, the first one I use for the thumbnail is actually taken from my own idea, which is this final scene of the batch all resting mostly together not only will i be creating physical builds based on your ideas but also making them look like official sets much like the box art you saw when you clicked on this video so i hope you do enjoy if you end up enjoying this and want to see more drop a like on this video and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more awesome lego content which this channel is now full of but as you've already seen this build i think this will be the first one to look at so this is what the box art would look like if it was an official set revealing the set in three, two, one. And I think this would be a great set to release. You can see bottom right, it comes with Wrecker, Crosshair, Hunter, Omega, and it'd be a great chance for us to not only get updated versions of the minifigures with alternate happier expressions, but also to get Crosshair's Bad Batch uniform, which he does take back in this final season. Now, as you can see on my desk, the tree does stick out a little bit and I'm sure Lego would have to make this a bit more sturdier than I have here because if this gets into a kid's hands that tree is absolutely crumbling but first off the last Bad Batch member which isn't actually included in minifigure form but is definitely almost minifigure scale we do have Batcher here we could not forget Batcher he hasn't played too much of a role this season but he definitely looks cool, made up of all these sand blue and light bluish grey slopes there. I did try to build him out of other pieces and have him somewhat functional. And yeah, that is definitely not Batcher. I'm not quite sure what I've built there, but at least the head bobs up and down. Only you can't have the head too far forward because then Batcher becomes front heavy. But I'm very happy that I went with slopes instead of this. This does look like my other bat chart. And once again, we will be taking a quick look at, I guess it's a mini showcase of all the other models that I've built for the Bad Batch series. And definitely let me know if you'd pick up any of these as an official Lego set. But this one's quite simple. I really like how I've got the detailing along the side, especially with all the gaps that are there, which in the show are these dark tan bits, but that would just be way too complicated and then i've got this golden bar going the whole way around including the side right here all the way to the back and made sure that it was sturdy enough by including a snot brick then you know how much i love using these leaves for different grassy and tree elements and i think i've gone all out with this tree this is the tree of taboo which we see i think it's one of the first things we see when the batch land on taboo and it's very curvy, it likes to just go its own way, spread itself out, and I think I've captured it very, very well. So definitely let me know what you think of each of these in the comments. In fact, drop a rating, we'll say 0 to 10 of what you think of these five builds. And on to the second one, you can see the box art already. It is going to be a micro fighter, and this was requested by Dirk Willem Devries, who asked me to make the ship from the episode with Wolf and include a Grandpa Clone Customs Wolf. Now, Grandpa Clone Customs is a very popular, definitely up there with Clone Army Customs as one of the most popular clone custom makers there is in the LEGO community. But the only way I have of getting these is Blue Harvest Bricks here in the UK. So if you know anywhere else I can purchase these from, definitely let me know in the comments but it was sold out and in fact is still sold out when making this video. So instead I have made my own custom one and revealing the set in three, two, one, you can see that it does look pretty close to the actual appearance of Wolf in the show. Now, looking on my desk, he doesn't have his missing eye and that is because for the box art, I have taken Wrecker's head and I've just mirrored it. So if you were playing with this in a mirror, you could definitely use Wrecker's head because he has the scarred eye on the other side. But there's not really much I could do in the head and helmet region without using pieces that really don't represent Wolf. But you can see I've included the grey on his neck by just giving him one of these backpack pieces. 
included the arms and the legs from the wintery CMF we got a while back with the Husky. And I think they do look really, really cool and suit Wolf. It's a bit more blue than it is grey, but it's definitely close enough for the popular Trooper. Now, I've given him two of his blasters, which are used for minifigures like Captain Rex. But I think the real start of the show is the Row Class Transport Shuttle. This is built in Micro Fighter scale and there is another Micro Fighter coming up. In fact, I've already done a Micro Fighter, so we will be taking a look at all three of them later on. Hopefully, I've got across the idea of the ship that you wanted. And I've even included a little ramp with a mini interior there that does lift up when the ship is flying. This would make a great micro fighter set and is very, very swooshable. And you could probably even detach this bottom bit here if you didn't want it to be a transport shuttle or at least didn't want it to transport a whole pack of clones. Because I try to keep to the micro fighter restrictions when making these, I have just used two big pieces for the wings, but they still get the idea across and I'm very happy with how the top fin turned out and once again we can put wolf just in the cockpit of his ship and i think this looks really really cool now this isn't the only micro fighter as i've said because the same comment and also georgie both requested that i built the clones assassin ship now at some point i will be picking up the sith infiltrator and modifying that to be the perfect dagger vessel at least playset scale because minifigure scale is way too big so I've also made this one micro fighter scale. Otherwise, I just fear it would look too much like more scimitar with a modified back. And revealing the set in three, two, one, I have included a Death Trooper on the box art. And that is just because it's the closest official minifigure to a CX clone assassin. If we take a look at it on my desk, I don't think it looks too far off what the actual trooper would look like, at least torso and legs. I feel like would be exactly the same. The helmet definitely needs some sort of rangefinder or viewfinder on the side. And the only other option I really had for attaching it to a dark helmet was if I used this dark Mandalorian helmet. And personally, I don't think it looks any better. So if we got a cross between these two or perhaps just got helmet holes on more helmets, you've heard me complain about the 187th and even the airborne helmets. I guess the airborne helmets really don't need helmet holes, but I'd love to see some helmet holes coming across just so we can make more clones, more stormtroopers, and just more characters with their helmets. And there's definitely some recolors that I might do a video on soon because there are so many types of troopers from the Republic, from the Imperial Army, and we definitely don't have enough of these helmets. In fact, I'm very happy they decided to give Moff Gideon a completely new mold and not try and reuse the Armourer or Gar Saxon's helmet mold for his helmet because we definitely need a few more and that is one character that deserves his own helmet. But onto the actual dagger vessel itself, you can see I've got the bright red engines at the back and what I'm most proud of is including this back design with the gap between the two overhanging arms at the back of the vessel. It did take me a while to perfect that design and there were definitely some iterations that looked, well, very much not like how it does now. And I've also got these sloped wings, which are actually on hinges at the back. This is a very simple micro fighter. And I think this could come in a two pack with another smaller model or perhaps even a second one with another character. But this could definitely be a $9.99 or the cheaper price of the Micro Fighter, unlike the updated price for the new Rex set. Now, Georgie also commented asking if I could build the cable car where the finale of season two took place. This was Iriadu, which is actually Tarkin's home world. And if we take a look at it, I think this is more of a gift with purchase than a set. So I'm going to include this. It's not from season three, but this would make a great gift with purchase with any Bad Batch set. Of course, they'd probably not do this unless it was a special occasion like with the finale having passed. I don't think we'll get any more special occasions for Bad Batch. But taking a look at it on my desk, you can see the cable cars do actually wobble and this is not an official Lego string, but really you could build this with any because there is a hole that goes 
straight through these T-bars that allows the cable cars just to hang there. And then if you made it big enough, you could definitely have this on a loop. The only thing was when I tried to put some gears in here to actually get it to spin with a motor, it just wasn't pulling the string at all. So I'm not quite sure how I would go about it. We'd need to have some sort of rubber wheel perhaps on it to create enough friction. But I'm very happy with how this turned out. This is called Plan 99. And you may even notice something about the set numbers on all the box arts I've created. So keep an eye out for the next one. We do have quite a bit of detail here. We have a bunch of the rocks and I've somewhat custom built this because this is the lower level of the rocks where it then goes up to Tarkin's tower where he's sitting having the meeting with all the other important Imperial people. But I've included the rocky bits at the bottom, which is where tech falls into. We then have this misty fog here, which is covering the valley below, which I'm sure is probably just more rocks and the odd lake that Tech falls into definitely survives, doesn't die in this scene. You cannot convince me otherwise, but we've got plan 99 happening here where this cable car's about to fall off and you can actually unclip them if you wanted to reenact it yourself. We've got the stormtroopers arriving on the way in the other cable car. We even have some V-Wings just down here, which I have again built a minifigure scale V-Wing for this series. So there's a nice little reference to my other mocks. And then if we turn it around, it's not as nice looking from the back because the cable cars don't have the ingots shape in them. I couldn't double side them and keep them this small. But we do have a few trees around the back of this station. In fact, this end of the cable cars, I am very, very pleased with because I think it turned out almost perfect to how it does in the show, especially at this scale. There is a bit of an issue with how the cable car is meant to fit in that hole, but you can still pull it along in the very limited movement and I guess reenact a little bit of the scene and then the cable car just flying off past it and well, the rest is history. So this isn't technically a set from season three, but it would definitely make a good gift with purchase from season two. So thank you for all of the comments on that video because these ideas are amazing. And the final one was an idea submitted by my fiance to see my rendition of the vault. Now I have already slightly attempted to build the vault. It was basically a gray triangle with a jail door. But as you can see, the new set is so much better. I've kept the original design, built the door more into the frame so it didn't look as misplaced as it did. And as you can see, I've got these two droids on the back which look like they're squared off against each other. These are based on the two droids that we see taking the DNA from the young force sensitives. And we also have Emery still on top with her data pad and two of these computers which I think I've built quite accurate to how they are in the show. The bit sticking out to the left or to the back of it, the vent on top, the control panel on front, and they just attach two studs and are slightly angled at the top. Now, I didn't want to do too much to this because I still have two of my other modules built to show off at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But we do have a bit more to the interior, and this is the machinery, this sort of the pipe work that the full sensitives escape towards the Zillow Beast. I did try building one of the non-Omega full sensitives and I just really don't have the pieces. So we definitely need some more young Jedi from Star Wars, especially in the different species because we haven't really got many of them since the Clone Wars. But I'm very happy with the upgrade for this and now Let's take a look at all my other Bad Batch models. So as you can see, these are all my Bad Batch models that are still built. And Batcher here was the first one. She also came in part of a giant diorama with part of a, I'm pretty sure it was a row class shuttle from Tantis, but that has been broken down. I mean, I needed all the trees for my Percy Jackson and Tales of the Jedi mocks. But I did keep Batcher built and I might keep Batcher built in my collection because I really like how the Lurker Hound turned out. We then have my other micro fighter, which was for Fee. Fee has been dismantled and this was the least popular of them all. But I still quite like the fact that I got the ramp out the front and actually copied that over to the row class for Wolf. I also like the way the three micro fighters look next to each other. 
because even though the size of the row class is definitely a lot bigger than the other two they still all look quite good together on a shelf and i'm sure they would fit with the other micro fighters star wars have released once again i'm very happy this was not my final design for batcher because i really like how this turned out and we also have the pyramid on the right with two scenes we never got to see of course echo's still off fighting with the other clones i would still like a spin-off show following their adventure and of course we know where Wolf, Gregor and Rex will end up and Gregor's fate. But I would like to see what happens with Echo because though I wouldn't exactly favour him ending up as Lobot, it would be nice but I'd rather him continue fighting with a few other clones and us following along that adventure. And we haven't seen Tex return. At this point I don't think we will but... Of course, my headcanon is he's stolen Hunter Speeder and is just zooming through the underworlds of some giant city. And then we have the vault on top being held up. I like the way that Emery and the robots extend the pyramid that much higher. It does look really cool. And then we have Plan 99, which I'll definitely be implementing that mechanism with the cable cars on the string in a mock again because that was really really fun to build and i hope you enjoyed watching along as we built different bad batch mocks week by week i will probably do the same for i don't know if i'll do the same for acolyte i might do it every couple of weeks for acolyte it depends how popular that is but this will definitely not be the last of build alongs that will be here on the channel so remember to like if you did enjoy the series check out all the other builds because this is only half of what I've built in the last few weeks. There will be a playlist. I'll leave that linked on the end screen as well as my playlist for Ahsoka if you are new here and subscribe for more awesome, awesome Lego content. Thank you so much for your support and may the bricks be with you always.